people who I assume love me did not wish me a happy sorry to Mike Cernovich day, uh -huh. which also happens to fall on my birthday. Uh, you will recall, was it, yeah. was it f four years, five years ago? 2017. It no, it was 2017. Yeah. On November uh, 2017, November 28th, 2017, I was in Key Food getting some paper plates for the birthday celebration I was about to have at my house. I was going to have uh, uh, two uh, couples over, and I had uh, ordered Chinese food, and that was going to be the big birthday celebration. And I get a phone call from uh msnbc i could see it was msnbc on my uh you know i didn't know who it was but i could see it was like a, the 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 rockefeller center like exchange and i'm like i like i'm gonna tell him i cannot do the show tonight sorry i got but it turned out to be a public relations do you know who mike cernovich is <laughs> yeah did you tweet out in 2009 the tweet i don't care about roman polanski but if my daughter is ever raped, I hope it's by a much older man who has a great sense of mise-en-scene. And I said, yes, in fact, I did. It's a pretty good tweet. <laughs> uh, but I just deleted it because I saw some weird people like retweeting it, and now I know why. He goes, well, it was it's retweeted by Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> and I was like, well... He's really plugged into those guys. Yeah. And I was like, well, uh, all you need to do is go back and um, see all the other tweets that I did at that time. This was in response to a petition that was going around signed by some of my friends from show business. Back in 2009, I was very much closer to you know that world than I am today. Some directors, and I was pissed because I don't think a guy who sexually assaulted, raped, drugged her, um, had agreed to a plea deal, skipped the country. I don't think he should be let back into the country to get a Lifetime Achievement Award or whatever <laughs> it was, simply uh, and be allowed to not be held accountable for skipping, uh, skipping out of the country just because he's a great director. I mean, I think he's a great director, but I also think that he's a criminal and should not be allowed to come back into the country. And I think if you read that, you will see that I am um, no one, even if they were a psycho, and, and wanted to be able to pick their daughter's rapist, would say one of the things is they have to have a great sense of mise-en-scene. Like, I don't think I've ever even used those words in anything but a joke in my entire Pretty life. classic joke structure. And he said, well, could you write this up and send it to me? And so I went back, and before we had the birthday dinner, I wrote it up, sent it to them, and then over the course of the week, uh, they ended up sort of firing me, and it was reported that they fired me, and... <laughs> then all hell broke loose. But in the final end, uh, the, the real main question was uh, uh, to the whole event was offered by this guy, Mike Cernovich. Let's run that tape where he asks the key question. Who's laughing now, Sam? Yes, well, I still continue to laugh uh, because uh, I was rehired and in fact, it really was sort of the last, the last successful thing or or thing that uh, Mike Cernovich did in that. Yeah, where is he now? Uh, up until the Crowder thing, that was our biggest uh, like sort of single rise in subscribers. I think on YouTube, like the metrics just went off the charts thanks to Mike. So we appreciate the marketing did for us. Without a doubt, without a doubt, and and personally, I mean, it was one of the best experiences of my life. Um, yes, I I heard from a wide array of people it became a um an issue for for people uh, for journalists who were worried for people who didn't want the alt-right to be able to sort of uh, dictate things like this you know the, the idea that people can comb through uh tweets and look i have no problem with people having to account for things that they've put out in the public but by any by any standard that is a a piece of satire 
and B, one that criticizes rape apologists. And, and everybody knew it. That was the thing, is that everybody knew it. And I mean, I think we had some anti-rape activists who were like, this is like the 0.01% of rape jokes or the use of rape in a joke that is actually valid because it was attacking rape apologists. And, um, and so it, uh, it, it worked out quite well. It was, yeah, it was well, really, I mean, it's, so, it, it, it's, this is the annual, thank you, right. Mike Cernovich day. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I, I wonder how long they can stretch this, uh, accusing, their political opponents of being pedophiles thing because like they're they're still they're still attempting to do so um because they know it has such a chilling effect it's literally like the only way that these ghouls can morally posture is to like pick the worst most morally re reprehensible attribute and pin it on somebody however disingenuously and so like then everything is justified right right well this was also in the midst of a massive uh the massive you too uh, me too moment yeah and um and there was also uh who was that guy from nbc uh matt lauer was also getting it and we had coincidentally in 2012 done a video about matt lauer when he was talking to ann hathaway and i you know in this video i had said like this guy's a freaking creep and something else is going to come out about this guy what was and he doing with the Anne Hathaway, yeah, Anne Hathaway, like some uh, guy had Not taken a picture of her, rails, um, you know, paparazzi, and and stuck her his camera up her sh her, her skirt, and 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 it was a horrible, you know, violation. And she comes on to uh, the Today Show, and Matt Lauer starts up with going like, "Seen a real lot of you these days," oh, and it was man. just the creepiest mother effing thing I could ever imagine, even contemplating saying. And, um, yikes. And, and like in any context it, to someone like, you know, it's not like this is his best friend and y you know, but that uh, was super common. Again, we're going totally off the rails. I'll just say that was super common in like mid two thousands. I mean, well, 2007, there needs to be some sort of documentary or thesis about paparazzi culture. I mean, there, we're starting it with the Britney Spears conversation, but how what that said about society well that was that 2012 time. i think you're talking about the sexism but um yeah but the and and so just coincidentally we had done a video and i was like this guy's uh, you know a creep i mean some something there's more behind this than that video did virtually nothing but then at that time it had got about two million views in that same week with wow. cernovich and so it all was sort of but that was it it was um so uh, thank you mike uh, cernovich uh, wherever wherever you are whatever uh, gorilla mind uh, tricks you're selling online uh, these days.